my name's Robin and this is Kale. <laughs> Kale is six and a half months old. <laughs> well, Kale means strong, victorious one, like he is today. It's a little bit windy <laughs> and he's uh, not got a lot of clothes on. So <laughs> he's being very strong and victorious. <laughs> is it a Scottish name? Yeah, it's Celtic. And so we have some Scottish and Irish in our background. And so it's spelled C-A-E-L. And there's also an island nation in the Mediterranean that um, is named after Kale, because I think at one point there was a Kale empire after the Alexander empire. So that's another reason why we named them. And it also in some other languages is translated into like ocean warrior. So I liked Kai originally, but Kai was a little bit too Hawaiian. And um, although it's kind of a neat name, we went with Kale. <laughs> He has two wonderful grandparents in Iowa, Dave and Joyce Kervorst, and an aunt, and a lot of other family in Iowa. So we went to Iowa to have him, and the, the childbirth was pretty intense. It was four days long, and it ended up in a C-section because um, his head was too big and my pelvis was too small. So he came out, but all those folks, Jacqueline Kervorst, his aunt, and his two grandparents were involved with the childbirth which they needed to be because they had to be on a rotating schedule <laughs> so they wouldn't get exhausted to help us through labor. So we're just happy that he's alive and healthy and it's a bonus that he's a genius and not that bad looking. So <laughs> we, hope, we hope that continues. And so I just wanted to thank our family members and friends for being supportive in the childbirth and beyond because it really does take a village to raise a baby. What's the best thing about being a mom? Well, just all the unconditional love that you get to enjoy with the little guy, even when he's fussy. <laughs> but definitely the happy times are amazing. And this guy is like the love of my life. So I just really enjoy hanging out with him and being out here in the outdoors. I think he's the calmest when he's in the outdoors. So <laughs> it's nice to hang out with him. A normal day with Kale. We wake up about 4 or 5 a.m. It used to be 6 before the chime change, but we get up, make breakfast. He usually eats breakfast. I, I'm still breastfeeding, so we both eat breakfast and then he likes to play. And right now he's working on standing and rolling over <laughs> and talking and definitely charming people. <laughs> no words yet. Well, he has wah and he has a high pitched scream. And then he has the <laughs> which means I'm hungry. <laughs> And for a while, we didn't figure out um, that he had a milk protein allergy. So he kind of had some, some issues like eczema and stuff, but those have cleared up. And I'm off the dairy, so it's good to... <laughs> it's good that he's feeling a lot better. Yeah, we're hoping that you don't have the protein allergy when you're older, but you never know. It's really rare. There's only like a small percentage. <laughs> well, we're hoping that we... Um, can work on him crawling and walking first, but he likes water, so you never know. Maybe he will end up doing something by the ocean. I'm not sure. His mom likes to be by rivers. The ocean kind of scares me. <laughs> it's fun to surf, but those rip tides are pretty, pretty gnarly. Maybe he'll be strong enough to paddle out and surf through those. <laughs> he's the calmest when he's outdoors. But yeah, if he's gonna be an indoor baby, that might not work very well with me. But I'm willing to compromise. <laughs> Before I had a baby, I, I didn't really connect to the community in Moab, and so it really kind of helps me connect with other moms and families. And it also kind of gives me a little bit more of a purpose, you know, than just being selfish and going rock climbing or going whitewater rafting. It's like, well, this is a lot more rewarding because you know that you're investing in the future, so. I think that he's a super advanced baby, but I'm sure every mom thinks that their baby is a genius. He does things like create diversions when we're in the kitchen, for example. And if he wants like a food object, for example, if there's like an apple sitting there, an apple slice, he will over here like try to push something off the counter so that he can grab the apple slice and put it in his mouth. <laughs> I think this age, they like to taste the world. So <laughs> everything from sand to apple slices, for sure. That's kind of fun. He's also just really witty. I think he likes to um, be very social and he's very charming and smiley when he's out in public. And then when he's home, he's witty because he'll just devise how to do things. For example, um, 
building blocks and like knocking them over and putting them in his mouth and and trying to just like manipulate things and I think that at this age they're starting to do that. There's milestones, you know, that they post in the baby books or online. You can get on the parenting websites. Um, but it always seems like he's ahead of the milestone. So who knows? He was two weeks late, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but he was two weeks late because his head's so big. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe he really is a genius baby. Who knows? <laughs>